It is super early this morning. I've just rolled out of bed. I am going to get some coffee and breakfast because in Bali, nowhere opens before 8 a.m. usually. So I'm going to go and jump on my bike and see if I can go and find a place to set up and do some work this morning, have some breakfast, and get stuck into the day. Let's do it. Oh, oh. So I was on the way to breakfast and I came past the Uber market and I thought, wow, well, I just got to show you what's happening here. So every morning, uh, basically all of the uh, people from around uh, Uber come in and use the Uber market to kind of sell all of their fresh produce and all of their goods for the day. Uh, there are scooters, bikes, people everywhere. There has to be, has to be a couple of thousand people. Like it is absolutely jam packed. The, um, uh, usually the streets allow like two to three cars to go through. Right now, you, they can probably fit like two scooters like either way. It is absolutely choppers. The stuff that they have for sale here is pretty fresh produce. It was literally ripped out of the ground and trucked here on the back of trucks. Uh, I can only imagine how cheap it is. Like I don't have a guide or anyone here to kind of teach me um, the pricing or like set me through it. I'm not here to buy anything. I just wanted to kind of stop in and share with you this like, crazy, crazy awesome experience. Really, really cool part of Bali um, that you don't usually see unless you're out of bed early in the morning and you come to this particular spot in Ubud. Um, yeah, it's really, really cool. You know American dreams, aren't you? If you got high hopes, still feel low, baby, you're just like me. Walked through the market and I've just jumped back out to get on my bike and uh, one of the parking attendants has moved my bike. I literally, I have no idea where it is. I don't know if you can see but there is like a sea of bikes out there. I vaguely remember it's a red and white one with Scoopy on the side. So uh, I'm going to track this bike down and see if I can get some coffee and some breakfast. I'm still starving. Oh, about to get run over. But uh, yeah, we'll see if we can find this bike. Good luck to me. Well, I did it. I found a cool little coffee shop. It is just past 7 o'clock here in the morning and I've got my hands on a coffee. It's kind of unnatural that uh, you find places open for 8am as I was saying earlier. Um, and it's a little bit annoying, right? Because I kind of want to get out of bed and have a coffee and I like getting up super early. So I think in hindsight, uh, if you're travelling to Bali and you like your super early coffees, you're just going to have to buy some and uh, have it at the house or the villa or the accommodation wherever you're staying. So today's going to be a co-working day. I'm staying at Rome in Ubud. Uh, it's a mixture between co-living and co-working. I stayed here last time when I was in Ubud and I absolutely loved it. I mean, the place is spectacular, the staff are amazing, uh, and the Wi-Fi is super fast. So this morning I'm just going to grab this coffee. I'm not going to have any breakfast here. Uh, and I'm going to head back to Rome and I'm going to set up shop there and do some work for the day. One thing that I get asked a lot is, Paul, well, what's it like to work uh, as a remote worker? Like, what's in the day in the life? Um, remote worker I feel like. So I'm going to try and do that today and experiment with uh, how that works and how that feels and if you like more of this content and if you're enjoying the kind of the day in the life stuff then let me know and I'm going to do some more of it. I've got some awesome photos of the Ubud market there with all the fresh fruit and vegetables so I'm going to go through and Instagram that while I wait for my coffee and then I'm going to jump back on the bike and head back to Rome. I'll talk to you soon. One thing a ton of Aussies don't realise is that there are Commonwealth Bank ATMs all the way throughout Bali, especially in the popular like Aussie touristy spots. Whenever I see one and I'm low on cash, I always pull in and use that over the other ATMs because I kind of think, well, maybe that will be safer. I just realised though when I was recording this vlog, maybe they're not actually real Commonwealth Bank ATMs. It seems kind of strange, right, that the Commonwealth Bank would have an ATM in a foreign country, but maybe not. So. 
Trust in the universe, I'm going to use a Commonwealth Bank ATM because a lot of cards get like fished and skimmed um, at dodgy ATMs here. So it's always good to check them. Uh, touch wood that uh, the Commonwealth Bank ATM has my back today. Let's become a millionaire. Okay, I'm in a little ATM here. It's probably the first time I've ever logged in an ATM. I don't know if that's true. So I have my uh, my travel card. I'm not going to show you the numbers. There it is. Um, so I have my travel card, and last time I was in Bali, I lost all my travel cards. Uh, oh no, I didn't lose them. I lost my bank cards, and I left my travel cards at home. So this time, I'm being super, super cautious. Um, uh, these ATMs usually only let you get out a couple of hundred dollars worth at a time, which is like two to three million. This ATM is 1.5 million is the max that they will let you get out. So that's all right. I like being a millionaire. Oh, Oh crap, I just pressed the wrong button. I pressed a checking account. I don't even know what a checking account is. It still worked, gave me money, I don't know. All right, and uh, that's what one and a half million rupee looks like. A lot of little cash sitting there, and it's hard to close up the wallet. So 150 bucks will probably last me I don't know, a few days um, at least. So if you go like 20 to 30, maybe 40 bucks a day for like three meals a day, a couple of mojitos, um, yeah, 150 bucks gets you really, really far. I'm gonna check how this ridiculous in the ATM footage turned out and I don't know if I'll even keep it, but thanks for joining me. Back onto the trusty scooter and then we're going back to Rome, like I said, after coffee and we're gonna set up and do some co-working there. Uh, it's a beautiful day today, like it really is such a nice sunny day. I uh, might try and find a spot down in the pool on the hammock and uh, yeah, let's get some work done. This is it. This is the co-working spot where I'm going to be shacked up for most of the time. Um, uh, originally this spot was over on another deck. It looked exactly the same uh, between the last time I was here and this time they switched it over. Um, the co-working spot is nice and breezy. It's got blinds to block out the sun. It's all kind of open air but there's a roof over the top. There's fans to keep everyone cool and the desks and the chairs are super comfy. There's power line through the middle and the Wi-Fi is really really quick over here. I'm going to set up and I've uh, just ordered a coffee from the restaurant across on the other building on the other deck and we're going to get set into work. So thanks for following along uh, so far this morning um, coming through Ubud Marketplace. Like that was really cool. I didn't expect to, to stop by there. It was um, yeah, it was super interesting to see all of the different colors and the fruits and the vegetables and all the things. Uh, today we'll uh, do some work for a few hours then I'll go grab some lunch with a friend and then um, work this afternoon and I don't have any plans for tonight yet. So uh, yeah, we shall see. I thought it might be fun just to dig through some of the uh, the tools that I use uh, to remote work. So I'm in tech support, so of course I need um, a MacBook. So I've got the 15 inch MacBook Pro uh, and I usually just uh, set that up. I have a roost stand, so it's kind of a stand that the MacBook sits on um, and an external mouse and keyboard. Today, kind of not feeling the stand. Uh, I think I might do a bit of moving around uh, the pl place. I'm going to go down to the hammock, so I'm not going to set up on the stand uh, today. But the MacBook Pro has been, been really, really awesome for me so far. The other thing that I cannot work without, I just can't work without, are uh, these. Uh, you can't see because they're in the case at the moment. But they are the Bose headphones. These things are probably the most expensive headphones that I have ever bought, but I use them flat out, non-stop. Um, the Bose headphones are noise cancelling, so I can't hear all of like the crows and the chickens and I don't know why I said crows, they're not crows, the chickens and the roosters crowing uh, next door. I always have my chargers handy, uh, I like to keep this thing juiced up and ready to go in case I want to stop for the day uh, and head off somewhere without any power. Um, and I also have this super annoying little attachment thing, let me dig it out of this bag, I don't know if I have it. 
I don't know. It's like a dongle, right? Because all the MacBook Pros uh, have no USB ports anymore, like old school USB ports. So I need like a dongle to plug in all of my other things. It's probably the most frustrating thing about the MacBook Pro. Um, but that's kind of thing my setup. Uh, and I usually just chuck on the headphones, put on uh, the um, put on some tunes. Usually Spotify gets me going, and um, yeah, start working away. Let's do it. Okay, so just did a big batch of work for this morning. It was super, super productive and I got a lot done. Now I'm going to drop the bags off and head out for some lunch. Going to try a new little cafe spot and I'm really looking forward to it. So we uh, didn't get to that uh, new place that I thought we were going to. We pulled over on the scooter and it uh, turns out there was like three dishes there. Uh, they were building it last time I was here in Bali um, and yeah, so we thought we might check it out. It's some kind of noodle oriental place and we had like four options. So we came to an old faithful um, head cafe. It's kind of healthy, would you say it's healthy? It's healthy, yeah. It's, uh, by healthy I ordered a burrito. Um, uh, but I'm sure it's somewhat healthy. Um, I decided not to go for a beer. I went for the water instead, so maybe that's the healthy part coming out of me. Uh, yeah, so stopping for lunch. Um, no work at the moment, laptops away. Uh, just relaxing and then back into work this afternoon. Should be good. Just done a bit of work for uh, another hour or so and uh, I was getting a little bit uncomfortable sitting at the table so I thought why don't I go get a massage so I've come down to this place uh, it's my favorite place to get a massage in Bali it costs uh, 160,000 Indonesian rupiah for a full hour and if you're wondering like wow Paul that's expensive it works out to be about $16 Australian so which is like $12 American or $14 American super cheap so I'm gonna go in and see if they've got an appointment That was amazing. I feel so relaxed now. I don't know how I'm gonna jump on a scooter and try and drive somewhere. Um, yeah, it was good. Best $16 I have ever spent. It was good. Now I'm gonna go back, have a shower, and try and do some work. And then uh, it's almost mojito time. I love this life. So I thought I'd finish off the day uh, down at the pool. Uh, it's a beautiful spot down here and I really like working um, right against the edge of the pool. There's a hammock just behind us and a little kitchen and uh, it's a really nice chill vibe down here. It's pretty closed in with all the rooms so it's quite quiet. Um, there are a few other rooms upstairs, uh, a few other like working areas upstairs that gets a little bit noisy and hectic so it's nice to kind of come down here and take a break. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like what the day is like for me uh, down here in Ubud and working over in Bali and co-working. Usually starts nice and early, go and grab a coffee, right? Get in to do some work, go and have some lunch. Um, uh, I, on the way back, I wanted to get a massage, so got a massage. Uh, I like, did some work there, then a massage, then did some work for this afternoon. And yeah, it's just been uh, super relaxing. I feel really productive. Uh, I'm still putting out like the same amount of volume that I usually do I'm just not in like a an office looking desk chair and table and I think that's one of the the coolest things about being able to travel and explore the world and and co-work it's something that I really enjoy doing and it's something that makes me yeah, like really happy and really productive so thanks so much for watching along so far uh, there's going to be plenty more uh, coming up I really want to try and get into uh, recording and vlogging more about like my remote work and travel um, and maybe even interview uh, or chat with some other remote workers along the way. I've got a couple of mates coming next week, uh, so it should be really good. Uh, as always, yeah, I think, um, actually by the time I record this, I think I will have hit 300 subscribers, which 
that's just ridiculous that I can't even begin to tell you how like cool and exciting that is so thank you to each and every one of you all 300 of you I really appreciate it uh, if you haven't already, like subscribe. I, I would love you to. Uh, I'd love to have you um, uh, check out my videos. And if you like this kind of thing, then give it a like. Uh, thanks for watching along, and I will. Um, yeah, I'll get back to it and see you next time. Bye.